Okay, so now we look at properties of scalar product. So when you have same many same vector a dot a, it will be equal to magnitude a square. Example, like i dot i equals to magnitude i square, where we know magnitude i is one. The unit of i vector is one. So property number two is cumulative law. Cumulative law saying that a dot b will be equal to b dot a. So this one we can refer to example 6. So look at our example 6 that we've done before. You can notice that u dot v, v dot u, they are same. So this is cumulative law. Meanwhile, for distributive law is talking about how we expand this. So for a dot in the bracket of factor b plus c, you can be expand one by one. It will be equal to a dot b, then plus a dot c. So make sure you write your dot product clearly. So like example, when you want i dot i plus j vector, so i dot i and then i dot j. And we know that i dot i is magnitude i squared. While i dot j, they are perpendicular. So when they are perpendicular, i dot j will equal to zero. So your answer leaving is 1. Later we can figure out in example 9. So continue. Associative. Associative means that a constant multiply with a vector dot a vector. So you can do a dot b directly. And then after that only you multiply with the scalar. Or this scalar can be multiplied to vector b. Then all, all, after that, only you dot with vector a. So, associative law means about how you multiply your vector and your uh, scalar. Lastly, uh, value of zero, if you multiply with your vector, it will give you zero. Anything you time with zero, you go back zero.